I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2020 Salem 31 KQBTS. This is an awesome family bunk model. If you have a big family, you need the kids to have some space. This is one you'll definitely want to check out. As you'll see, we have an L-shaped kitchen. You have a super slide with both a U-shaped dinette and the sofa. And in the back, there are dual opposing slides, giving you a huge bunk room. Let's start off on the kitchen though. One of the things you'll notice right away are the gorgeous solid surface countertops in here. They have a little bit of a sparkle in them. It catches your eye, especially when the light is gleaming in on them. It also allows you to undermount the sink. You'll see it's a double bowl sink here. It comes with the uh, drying rack. It's a rolling drying rack, which is fantastic. You put it right on there, roll it up like so. Gives you a little extra prep space as well as a place to dry your dishes. And then you have the high-rise spring faucet. It's a little more kind of residential, almost uh, leaning into industrial. Great look to it, though, very modern. And it does a great job of helping you to wash and rinse the dishes because you can pull it down and it gives you some added maneuverability. If we follow the L over to the side, obviously you have the prep space here in the center, but over on the very side is the recessed three-burner cooktop. It's Furian brand has the glass cover which folds up and back to give you that backsplash. Three burner cooktop there. Because it's the Furian one, the knobs do light up and you will also see the oven underneath if you want to do some baking. Right over to this side, you have the drawers. So you'll see here, three full extension ball bearing drawers, plenty of room for your flatware, whatever else you need to put in there. And my favorite part is the fact you have plenty of room underneath the sink for a fairly large trash can. If we take a look at the wall, you will notice two electrical outlets. I like where manufacturers put them in the wall, which with this construction method, when you have the uh, aluminum exterior, wood frame, and then the uh, rolled insulation, it allows you to run wiring through the wall. And so you can put the electrical outlets there. It just looks a little bit cleaner rather than having them underneath the cabinets when you're plugging things into them. Right up top, you will see the glass inserts. They kind of have like that frosted look to them, uh, but it's great because it helps break up the wood look. Plenty of storage right up top there too. Microwave over to the side, hood underneath, stainless steel panels on those, very clean, modern look. Over to the side here is your 10.7 uh, cubic foot, 12 volt, ever chill refrigerator. I really like these because if you have two deep cycle batteries and uh, some solar panels, you can almost run these nonstop, which is pretty great. And uh, you know, if you're boondocking, again, it can run off your batteries, which is awesome. You have the freezer right up top. You'll see right down below, plenty of space here. A couple adjustable shelves. Then you have the tray down below. Uh, this also has the humidity control on there. So whether it's vegetables or fruit, you can easily control that. You'll also see the travel lock is built in and clearly very easy to use. Going back a little bit further, your thermostat will be located on this wall. This will control your ducted AC as well as your ducted furnace. Uh, obviously your AC is ducted throughout the ceiling. It does have the quick dump option. And then the furnace is ducted in the floor. The in-floor heat is great because it tends to give you more even heating because they can uh, place the ducts. They have a little more freedom where to place the ducts. It doesn't have to come in the bottom of cabinets. If we take a step into the bathroom, right down below is the foot flush lever toilet. As far as space, I have plenty of shoulder room. Pretty good for the legs here too. My toes touch the tub, but again, it's not that bad. Over to the side, you have a cutout for, you know, small trash can or toilet paper, or towels, whatever else you want to put there. Some storage underneath as well as plumbing access. Countertop coming over to the side of your sink. You have your electrical outlet there. Mirrored medicine cabinet right up top. And then in the far side is the tub shower. I like having a tub in a bunk model because if you have smaller kids, you can still give them a bath if you want. As far as height, I'm six foot. Even without the skylight, you see I have plenty of room here. Folks, you can be you know, six three probably and still be able to stand in here without having to bend down, which is pretty great. Making our way back out, we will actually head into the bunk room. So just so you know, the slide controls for the bunk room are going to be right here. So with this camper, you have to open up this super slide before you open up the bunk room because otherwise you can't access these controls. But when we do make our way in here, Look at this. It's basically a mansion back here for the kids. It is fantastic. If you have rambunctious kids or, you know, again, you have four of them, and you want them to have their own space, this will give you uh, some peace of mind because they can run around, they can play in here, perfect if they're bringing friends, whatever. Over on the one side, 
this slide out, you see the nice big wide top bunk here. The one down below, this one does fold up. So, you know, if you need some uh, additional space during the day, you don't want this hanging out, you can fold it up, no problem. You see an electrical outlet right down on the floor. Perfect to plug in uh, cell phones or if you need to run a vacuum back here because it is carpeted, you can plug it in there. You also have the dual USB port there for the top bunk again for those electronics. My, one of my favorite parts of this setup though is this back wall. Because a lot of times when they have this, you don't have a ton of depth in the storage. It'll be like this deep, which just is almost useless. But in this floor plan, take a look. You have excellent usable wardrobes on both sides. Huge storage there for hanging clothes. Same thing right here in the center. Uh, you have a big spot for a TV. So, you know, if they're a little bit older and they want to bring like a gaming system with them, or if you want to hook up a DVD player back here, you can do that. You have drawers. Again, a couple more electrical outlets there. And then in the other bunk on the uh, off door side here, again, same thing. You have this foldable bunk right up top. And then underneath is a jackknife style sofa. So this just lifts up and drops right down. But look at that, more storage. So if there's one thing I love about this bunk room, it's not just the fact that it is huge because it definitely is, but it comes with a lot of storage for the kids. As we step out of the bunk room, you will see right here, some additional storage. Now you have uh, options for this too. You can either use this as pantry space if you want, or if you want to use it as a linen closet, you know, if you need extra space for towels, things like that, you can certainly do that as well. There is an electrical outlet down there. So again, if you need to vacuum the main floor, uh, you have a spot in which you can plug it in at. You have the King U-shaped dinette. So big U dinette here. As far as space, when I sit down, you see I have plenty of room for my torso to the table. Plenty of room for four people, one on each side, two here in the center. The great thing about a U dinette though, folks, is the fact that when if you need additional sleeping space, this drops down into a large bed. You can comfortably sleep two adults here, no problem. So if you have guests, this will be your primary bed. Otherwise, just a great spot to have a meal together, play games together, things like that. If you look at the slide out, you will see that you have windows that go almost all the way up to the ceiling. So huge windows all the way around let in a ton of natural light, which makes it feel bigger during the day, which is awesome. You'll also see your jackknife style sofa right over here. Again, this does drop down, but it's not a huge bed. Great for kiddos, uh, for adults, a little bit tougher. You will also see the storage underneath. Now you can lift it up like that, or you'll see the handle up front. You can pull that open. There's enough room. You can just pull the bins right out. So that way you don't have to get down on your hands and knees to access the storage. Now I know that you know, those bins obviously aren't super expensive, but the fact that it comes with them, again, you don't have to try to find the bins. Uh, that definitely is a, a huge convenience factor, at least for me. Then we take a look at the separation between the main living area and the bedroom. You have the full wall. You'll see it's a decorative wall board, kind of it's supposed to have like that faux brick look. You have this little guy for your cables. That way you can run any cables from your TV right down into here, kind of help hide those cables, run into this space for auxiliary equipment. You have the large sound bar for great sound quality, HDMI and USB port on there. It's also Bluetooth capable, and you can see you have a couple different zones here. And then if you take a look underneath that, you will see the 30 inch fireplace. Great thing about this folks, is not only does it look great, but it's also an electric space heater. So if you don't want to run, or uh, don't want to use any propane, you just kind of want to take the chill off in this main living space, you can turn that on, it'll do a pretty decent job. You will also see a little bit of storage underneath that. Um, you know, for me, I would probably throw some shoes under there. You don't have to, but just an extra idea. And then on this side, you see some additional storage. When we enter the bedroom, you will see the Denver mattress here in the center. And it's a pretty comfortable mattress. You can see kind of the almost pillow top on there. Nice, uh, dense foam core. Again, it is a lot more comfortable than several of the mattresses in the industry. When we lift it up, you will also see the storage underneath. Strut assisted storage, you can see how high the bed actually lifts. So that way if you have items that you put in your pass through, you can actually access those from inside, which a lot of times you can't. And then you have the bins right underneath. Now mind you, even when the bed is shut, you can grab these bins if you want, but we lift it up, it just makes life that much easier. We drop that right back down. You'll notice on both sides, you have mirrored wardrobe with hanging rods there. You also have electrical outlets on both sides, USB ports to charge electronics. 
You have additional storage across the top. Windows on both sides. Roller shades throughout. I didn't mention that earlier. That's a, a nice feature too. That way you don't have to worry about pleats or anything bending or you don't have to worry about the tension on the side, the strings breaking, nothing like that. Now if you want TV, you'll see there is a backer located in the wall and the connections for that are right up above it. With the slide closed up, you do have access to the refrigerator. It's a little tight. You can see it's a pretty narrow walkway, but you can sneak your way into the kitchen and open it up. Can't get it completely open, but far enough to get most items out. Obviously, you do have full access to the freezer. However, as you will notice, the bathroom is completely blocked off. Starting off right up front, you'll see a power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle, because all you have to do is flip the rocker switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see you have a light for added visibility at night. In the rare event the motor fails, there is also a manual override. Directly behind that, you have two 20-pound propane tanks, despite the 30-pound 30 uh, 30 cover here. So if you do get larger tanks, you already have the cover for it. Behind that, you will also notice your rails for your battery. Notice there is space for two batteries. Again, you have the Everchill fridge. So if you want to put two deep cycles in there with the solar, as I mentioned, you can run that almost continuously. Right down there is your battery disconnect. That way you can just flip that. That will uh, kill all power to the RV. It's great when you're not using it. It'll help kill that small drain because even if you don't have any lights or anything on, it's still gonna have that constant drain on the battery. Flip that and it will stop that from happening. Your pass-through is magnetic, so you can put it up just like so. You don't have any tabs or anything that are gonna break, which is awesome when you have kids, because a lot of times they come and they don't think about it and they just go to slam this shut. Those plastic tabs will break. Don't have to worry about it with the magnet. When you take a look inside that pass-through, you'll see how large and open it is. It's a huge pass-through here, folks. Big opening for larger items like your executive chairs, things like that. You'll also see the solar prep right down underneath. So if you need solar, simply buy portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. Two exterior speakers. You have one here, another one a little bit further back. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but again, that unit is Bluetooth capable. Power awning as well. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go back in. And there's an LED light strip for light at night. Your entrance is here. You have the LCI solid step, which just like the name says, it is exactly that. It is a very solid step system. I'm over 200 pounds. You can see I can hop up and down this thing. The steps hardly flex. You don't have that springboard effect. You also have the foldable grab handle for added control. And you will see that these threads are aluminum. So that way you don't have to worry about them rusting out on you. The, uh, they have grip tape on there too. So if it's wet, it gives you a little extra traction. Taking a step back a little bit further. If you're going boondocking, you want to make sure you have water in your fresh tank, and that is where you will fill your fresh tank at. Electrical outlet there as well to plug things in. Now, because we have so many RVs on the lot, you'll see that I did have to push this slide in. This normally is that bunk room slide, sticks out a little bit further. But uh, I did want to be able to open it up to show you the outside kitchen. So my favorite part, of course, is this right here, which is the mini fridge. So that way you have a spot for your condiments, beverages, things like that. You also have storage out here, pretty good storage at that, enough that if you need to fit some bigger bottles in there, you can, or you know, cups, plates, whatever else. Electrical outlet, if you need to plug in any kind of auxiliary equipment, like a blender, something like that. Light over to the side, you have your sink right down underneath. And if we make our way around to the back, you will also see it. you have a grill here. So that way you have a spot or a way to cook. You just pull the pins, that'll swing out and around so you can cook right there at your outside kitchen. Now that is mounted on your square tubular bumper with end caps, which does give you a space for your sewer hose. But even though it is a long arm, I do recommend putting the sewer hose in on that side so it's not near your grill. Again, just a personal preference. Uh, but on this side, you will also see your spare tire with the cover. Great thing about a cover is it'll help keep it in good shape. And because it's mounted right back here, it's probably one of the easiest places to get to it. If you have city water at your campsite, you will plug that in right there. And if you take a look up top, you will also see your backup camera prep. So if you have backup camera, I mean, the, or if you want a backup camera rather, having the prep makes it easier to install. So that way it'll save you money on labor. So we come around to the off door side. This one had the fireplace in there. Uh, so that it has 50 amp power, detachable power cord. You will also see your cable and satellite inlets. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Salem 31 KB QXL. If you're interested in this beautiful family model and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description.
Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.